why do I paint? Uh, there's, I think, just this desire, this to, I guess the desire to create, of course, and to achieve some sort of perfection. It's one of those things that's process oriented and you work towards this ideal of perfection, but you never get there. So it's, it's like something that's never finished. Uh, you can always go back and do better or you feel like you can. And on rare occasions, you get something that you think is good, but it's never perfect. I don't think that there's ever a painting that I've done where I wouldn't change something in it. Japanese, I really fell in love with Japanese calligraphy. There are uh, the, the uh, Buddhist monks, they would roll out large sheets of paper on the floor and they would dip their uh, mop-sized brushes into the black ink and do these beautiful calligraphs on this paper. And that really kind of got me into thinking in a more abstract way, because up until that time I was painting quite figuratively, um, from realism to impressionism to expressionism, and then that sort of launched me into abstraction and uh, I never turned back. This space is, in my opinion, the best space I've ever had. Uh, it's an old warehouse. Um, I love the, the gable roof and uh, just the space and the light. Old wooden floors and, and uh, it's been relatively untouched for God knows how long. I just love oil paints. I love the, the colors of oils. I love the viscosity, the slipperiness when you mix it with uh, linseed oil and things. And I gave them up about 20 years ago, reluctantly. I started using acrylics, which are probably better for you, and they dry faster. But I uh, hated acrylics for the first year. I just didn't know how to use them. I, I, I was so frustrated. I had all these things in mind that I wanted to paint, but I couldn't execute them. And then finally, after about a year of sticking with it, uh, I started to get some things that I liked and I started understanding how acrylics work. They're, they're very different from oils. But in the end, you can get a very similar effect. Um, and I, I add a little bit of uh, medium, this kind of uh, gel with the paint. And that makes them slick and shiny looking, similar to oils. So a lot of people, when they see my work, they think it's oil on canvas which I'm glad to hear because it, it, it means that I'm using the acrylics the way that I want to use them.